Hey guys, today I'm gonna to share with you one of my favorite easy summer dinners for an elegant dinner party. People are always impressed by it, and the funny thing is, is it couldn't be easier to put together. Here's what you do. We're going to begin by making the marinade for our chicken. You're gonna start with some garlic, some olive oil, a little bit of red wine vinegar, salt, pepper, and oregano. Go ahead and whisk that up just until it's all combined and then set it aside. Then you're gonna take some skinless, boneless chicken breasts. I usually factor about one per person. Go ahead and slice it lengthwise and then cut it crosswise into two inch chunks. Go ahead and place the chicken in the marinade and then toss it well to make sure it's all coated. Now ideally, you wanna let this marinade for at least an hour just to allow all those flavors to marry and penetrate into the chicken. You don't wanna take it any more than about three or four hours. The reason being is there's a little bit of red wine vinegar in this marinade, and over time, the vinegar will start to break down the texture of the chicken. So four hours is really tops. Then you're gonna prep your zucchini. Take the zucchini, cut off the top, and then you're gonna slice it into about four equal slices, about a quarter of an inch thick. You're going to brush each side with some olive oil and then season with salt and pepper. Then, about 30 minutes before your guests arrive, you can go ahead and thread your brochettes. I really like to use the metal skewers. I think they just hold up better with the heat of a barbecue, and then you get to use them again and again. You're gonna take your skewer and you're gonna thread about two to three pieces of chicken. Then you're gonna add a lemon wedge. Now the lemon wedge is really the secret ingredient in this recipe because as that chicken grills and the lemon gets heated up, it almost bastes the chicken with this beautiful warm lemon juice as it continues to cook. Then you're gonna thread two to three more pieces of chicken, add another lemon wedge, more chicken, more lemon. Usually you'll get about 12 pieces of chicken and four lemon wedges per skewer. Then go ahead and keep your brochettes in a Pyrex dish covered with foil and pop in the fridge until you're ready to grill. And then when the time comes, you wanna heat up your grill pan or your barbecue to a medium high flame. Put the chicken on first. You wanna get that going. And then go ahead and place your zucchini. This is another reason why I love this recipe for entertaining. You can grill both items on the grill at the same time. And if you're entertaining outdoors and you have an outdoor grill, that way you feel like you're part of the party. Everybody is congregating, enjoying their drinks, and you can be there grilling the meal. You'll know the chicken is done once it's firm to the touch and has been nicely grilled on both sides. And if the zucchini is done before the chicken, that is okay. The zucchini is meant to be served at room temperature. So you can go ahead and pull that off while you wait for the chicken to be done. Finish your zucchini. You're going to arrange it decoratively on a plate. Then add your crumbled goat cheese. It's really nice if you add the goat cheese while the zucchini is still warm, because what it'll do is start to melt that goat cheese a little bit, and that goat cheese will get a wonderful creamy texture. Then on top, you're going to add some fresh lemon zest, some pine nuts, and some flat leaf parsley. Now I know that pine nuts sometimes can be expensive in different parts of the world. So if they are, or if you can't find them, you can go ahead and just leave them off. It'll still be just as good. And then go ahead and serve this beautiful side dish with your delicious chicken, and you will see your guests will be completely impressed. The nice thing about this meal is once those lemons are nicely charred, you can take them off the skewers and squeeze them onto the chicken, and it's also really good on the zucchini as well. I promise, if you try this one for your next dinner party, your guests will be completely impressed. It's such a beautiful summertime meal that takes hardly any time to put together. And I'll see you back here next week when we're going to tackle dessert. I'll show you how to make one of my favorite summertime treats, a homemade plum crumble. See you then.